When you apply for a loan, a credit card, a mobile phone contract, a new bank account with an overdraft, each company will credit score you. But many people struggle to understand exactly how that works. Now, the first thing to say is you don't have a credit score in the UK or a credit rating. There's no one number that dictates whether you'll be lent to. Every individual lender does it differently. The ones you get from credit scoring agencies, well, they're just an indication of how a typical lender might see you. So don't sweat small moves with it. But I thought a little game might just try and help you understand how it works. Because credit scoring is pretty intuitive. It's all about trying to predict future behaviour based on the past. So let's play. You're at the pub. Someone has forgotten their credit cards and their phone and their payment watch so they can't pay. And they ask you to lend them a tenner saying they'll pay you back. So I want to know, would you lend them the tenner if A, they often do this, but every time they've done it in the past, they have always promptly repaid you without you even having to ask. B, they often do this, but they have rarely in the past remembered to give you the money back. You have to chase and it can be a real issue to get your tenor back. And C, well, they seem very, very nice, awfully nice, but you've never met them before, nor have any of your friends. So what do you think? I suspect your instincts are you'd be warm to the first, the one who's always done it before and always paid you back, cold to the second, the one who struggles to repay, and also cold to the third because you've never met them before. If so, you are credit scoring like a bank. The first person is someone with a good credit history. They're a good credit citizen. The second is someone with a poor credit history. They do not have a good history of repaying. The third is someone you have too little data on to assess, and that can lead to credit rejections too. Now, exactly what you should do if you've got a problem with poor credit, well, there are loads of tips and there's a full guide to it on moneysavingexpert.com. One of the catch-22s is you need credit to get credit. So how do you get credit? Well, what you do is you get a special credit rebuild credit card. You put 50 to 100 quid a month on it. You make sure you pay it off in full every month. That way, you won't be charged any interest as long as you've cleared the balance and never withdraw cash on it. And you do that for about a year, never spending more than you need. And as long as you haven't had credit problems elsewhere, it will either rebuild or build your credit history. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Do read the guide.